Hello, today's daily Bible study comes from Philippians chapter 2, verses 12 through 13, and reads as follows. Therefore, my dear friends, as you have always obeyed, not only one in my presence, but now much more in my absence, continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling, for it is God who works in you to will and to act in order to fulfill his good purpose. Okay. Paul starts talking to him, and he's telling him, hey, my friends, my people. He, he acknowledges that they have been obedient. He says, as you have always obeyed. Um, and Paul is saying, hey, if you, if you know, excuse me, Jesus was always obedient. He always showed it. And he expected. this from the followers of Jesus. See, he expected them to be like Christ was, but he says, as you have always obeyed, so he acknowledges that they were be obedient, work out your own salvation. Okay, this is different because this wasn't work to get their salvation or to um, make it on their own. It was work out. It was a workout, their salvation. See, they were they were going to work. They were going to do it. They were going to show. It was going to be seen. And this workout was to be seen in every area of their lives. Um, and this would help them. It would bring it out. It would um, get it started. So he's saying... Work out your own salvation. And this is when we know that Jesus has done all the work for us. Our salvation is complete because Jesus has already done the work. And we should still feel that it's not complete by us. Okay, not by Christ, but by us. Because in us, the work hasn't been completed. So, we must keep going, just like when cross, Christ was on the cross, and he said, it is finished. We keep working it until it is finished. And it's telling us truly, pay attention to your own salvation. We, we we may pay attention to others, we may do for others, and we should, but pay attention to your own salvation. Okay? We should care about the souls of others, but you can't go testify, you can't go preach, you can't go share the word until you have it in you. OK, so we should make sure that our own salvation is right. So look at your own salvation with fear and trembling. This is not that scary horror type of fear. Uh, the problem here is Paul is saying, be afraid of failing. OK, be afraid of falling short to working out your own salvation. And he's, he tells you the way you work out. Listen, it says work out your own salvation with. And what is it with? Fear and trembling. We ain't talking about anything. Except here reverence for God. The ability to know that God is everything, to believe in God, and you should have faith, and we should stay strong. It's not, it's not a, a fear and a trembling because woe is me, damnation is me, he is going to smite me, or I'm a sinner, and he's going to come get me. It's not that type of fear. It is truly 
a pleasure. If, if you look at it, this fear and trembling is a reverence to God knowing that you know who he is. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And this trembling is that happiness if you were in the presence of God. Your body couldn't act right, but it would be happy. It would be joyful. It would be excited because you would be in the glory of God. And that is something we all should work for. Now, much more in my absence. Paul is saying, get your work on, okay? And he's telling them, just because I'm not there, do more work. Do more work. He was saying, Christians, get your work ethic ready for this situation. And why? Because you should work even harder in my absence, in his absence. So Paul starts in verse 13 saying, for it is God who works in you. Plain and simple. Why are you going to work out your salvation? And we already talked about the fear and trembling. Well, the reason why is because for it is God who works in you. And that means you got mercy and grace in abundance in you if you call on the Lord. That means that you have abilities when you call on the Lord. And when God works in you, you can do numerous things that the old you couldn't do. So if God is in you and you know God is in you, you have to act like God is in you. Okay? And the thing that it says next, both to will and to do, uh-oh, both to will and to do. We changing. See, this is this is where it changes us. It changes our will as well as our actions. It says both to will, our will, you know, our will, as well as to do. To do is actions. To go do something is an action. So changing your actions. And this is aggressive. It's not passive. It's aggressive. For his good pleasure. This is the reason why you do it. The reason, the motive, the why do you do this for his good pleasure? The reason behind the Lord working in your life because it gives him pleasure. It says for his, capital H, good pleasure. So it's for him. It gives him pleasure to do it. Amen.